Hey guys, it is Nick here with another Nick's Topics Walking Dead What If Topic video for you guys today. And today we are getting in to part eight of What If Lori Survived. What a journey this character has been through from basically in the original to being a pointless, drawn out character to in this story actually being pretty handy to the group and to her family. Now, I didn't make Lori a warrior like Michonne or anything, because I didn't see it fitting her bill, but I made her more of a better mother and wife figure and a better member to the group after she survived her pregnancy. Anyways, to recap the last episode, we left off with the clock tower falling and the wolves invading. And I left off with... if. The wolf's invasion would go smoother, or if it would end up being more bad for the group. And today, that is where we resume our story. So, the wolves invade, pretty much everything goes down per normal, outside of extra characters, basically. Now to who is going to actually die? Well, I do not know if I ever had Herschel survive up to Alexandria before. But, in the case of everything that had happened thus far, he actually got to. So, I think that if he somehow, some way, were able to survive up until this point miraculously, he would die here, basically. Because <laughs> I don't think I ever made him survive this long, but if he were somehow, some way, able to, he would die here. I don't see any way around that. And afterwards... Herschel dying, Maggie and Beth would, obviously, retaliate and kill the wolf or wolves that killed him. And I think that Reg would take Deanna's death here, and he would be the one who gets bit and dies instead of Deanna. Because he didn't die against Pete, because Mitch, the governor's basically right-hand man, took that death instead. Andrea, I also feel, as I've done in multiple of my stories, my what if Rick didn't kill Shane, my what if Amy survived, etc. Andrea died around this point to the wolves, and I feel that the same would apply here. So, those are the people that died. Now to focus on the other parts of the story before we get to the wolves again. I feel that when Rick was alone in the original story, that Lori would be with him here, for simplicity's sake, and just because Lori has evolved, I feel, to this point where she's out with Rick more, instead of just being at, like, their camp, just basically existing. <laughs> Anyways, while Rick and Lori are doing their thing on their own, gearing the zombies away and the group's fighting the wolves, Tyrese is with Sasha, Daryl, and Abraham, whenever they meet the saviors on the road. So I feel that with Tyrese there, things could go a little smoother, but ultimately the saviors would get blown up nonetheless. Because with everyone's development in the group, still kind of... Th th they're not going to let some people tell them to give over their weapons and such. Anyways, pretty much everything, like I said, would go per normal in the story. Owen would take Denise hostage, and... Then we get to the scene where Rick, Sam, Jesse, Michonne, Carl, and Father Gabriel and Ron would all be basically covered in zombie guts and we know where the story would go from there. Carl would get shot, Sam and Jesse would die, Ron would die. But this time, things are going to be a little bit different because, for one thing, I feel that since Tyrese would be with... Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha, that Michonne would be there too. So Lori, I feel, would take the stead of Michonne's spot once again. And I don't think that Sam and Jesse would die here. And if Ron did somehow try something, it wouldn't end well for him, but I'm going to say that he doesn't try anything and say that basically Jesse, Sam, and Ron all live. And another thing to come out of this, Carl doesn't lose his eye. And also, 
for Jesse Living, that's not going to turn into anything major. Jesse, Sam, and Ron are basically still going to be side characters because of Lori still being in Rick's life. So nothing really big is going to come out of that, like my What If Amy Survives story. Just to throw that out there. Anyways, pretty much the rest of the story would not too many changes. Rick and Daryl would still encounter Jesus. He would let them know about the hilltop, except he would tell Rick and Lori because Michonne's not with Rick. So, yeah. We'd still get the whole Ethan Escobade trying to kill Gregory and all that stuff. That pretty much goes down per normal. And Gregory is still the stuck-up fool that he was in the original story. And I feel that even with that, Maggie and him would still make their deal about half the stuff. And everyone in the group's letting on about the saviors. And honestly, I see the satellite outpost attack going pretty much the same as it did before. Maybe with some extra character interactions and scenes. But outside of that, I don't see this like part of the story as aside from a few other parts, being any different. So, yeah. Abraham and Eugene after that, they would still have their whole differences because the whole Washington trip, that still happened. So, there's that. That wouldn't really change at all, I don't think. Further along the lines, Daryl, Denise, and Rosita, I still feel, would go on their little trip. Except... This time, when Denise dies, it's not, like, as big an impact, because Tara is with Elijah, and they're still in Alexandria. They're not going on that big trip, so Dwight would be the only real nuisance there. Anyways, after that, Carol still gets encountered by the Saviors because she still leaves. I feel that that would be inevitable. But then we get to another change. Rick and Morgan going out to go and find Carol. But this time, I feel that they would be accompanied by Lori. No, I know they would be in company, accompanied by Lori. Because Lori, after figuring out and realizing that Morgan saved Rick's life, she feels more in debt to him than ever because he brought him back to her. So... She agrees with Rick that he shouldn't look for Carol alone, and he should let them accompany him. But Morgan, being the stubborn man that he is, his character development, still insists, even with this, that he go alone. And they don't gotta worry about paying him back or anything. That debt was paid. Anyways, I feel that Daryl would still go after Dwight and everything, not because of Denise this time, but because he feels endeared to ha and, like, guilty for not killing Dwight before. That was another thing. And I feel that it would be the same characters, Michonne, Glenn, Rosita, except with a few others. Beth, for one thing, who embraces Daryl because they're together and have a kid, and says that he doesn't have to do this alone. And if he really has to go after Dwight, they're going to do this as a team. They've always been a family, a team. So if he's really going to go after him and all those other guys, they're going to do it together. And I feel that Tyrese and Sasha would be there. One, because Michonne and Tyrese are a thing, as I said before in an episode or two, I think. And Sasha would obviously be there, I think, with Tyrese for the most part. That would be, like, the main reason. And they both agree on this as well and says that they got... This is a lot of people. They got, like, a good amount of people. And it was only Dwight and those few guys. But they're sadly mistaken when they think this will go well for them. I think you know what I mean. They get surrounded and captured like before, even with the few extra people. Back at Alexandria... Carl still wants to enact his plan about keeping Enid safe and locking her in the closet. But this time, Lori is there to stop him. Well, he doesn't even get the chance to do so, and Lori doesn't even know that he's going to do so. He, Lori knows that Carl is pretty much in love, 
and wants to keep Enid safe, but she says that he, she let him fight. Why not let Enid fight? Kara sees this and knows what his mom is talking about, but for the first time in a decent many years, basically before Lori had Judith, Kara looks at her with the same eyes that he had her before, those same hateful eyes, but it's only for a second because, honestly, Lori has a point, and Lori has been nothing but good to him and Rick since surviving with Judith and everything, so he can't be mad at her. So, the group sets out, bigger than before, but losing a bit more members, but they're not quite aware of that yet. What will happen with the Saviors leading forward? Can they actually combat the Saviors before Negan gets the chance to line them up? Or is this going to end more poorly for the group? And that's where we leave things for the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the What If Lori Survives story so far. And the characters and their progression, especially Lori's. Like I said, I never expected a story like this to happen, especially with me. But... I'm quite liking how I'm interpreting the story, and I hope that you guys are too. What do you think is going to happen going forward? Leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.